day 36, Ruth chapter 3 verse 18. She replied, Wait, my daughter, until you learn how the matter turns out, for the man will not rest, but will settle the matter today. Esther chapter 4 verse 16. Go, gather all the Jews to be found in Susa, and hold it fast on my behalf. And do not eat or drink for three days, night and day. I and my young women will also fast as you do. Then I will go to the king, though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. These ladies knew to stand on their resolve. They knew that no matter what, waiting can only generate good. No matter the consequence, no matter what the world will say, they know that waiting can only generate good for them. God wants us to wait on him, knowing that no matter what, no matter what, he has our back. But do we have that resolve? Do we trust God, knowing that there is nothing coming our way? that can destroy us. Lord, teach me to be still and wait for you. Lift the scales of ignorance from my eyes that I may see you. Help me to see and to rejoice in the fruits that you are bearing in my life and in the lives of those around me, in the small things as well as the big things and guide me to rest my concerns and anxieties in you. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I will let patience have his perfect work in me that I may be perfect and complete, lacking absolutely nothing. I wait on the Lord, and I am of good courage, and I know that He will strengthen my heart. And I know that as I am waiting upon the Lord, I will renew my strength. I shall mount up with wings as eagles. I shall run and not be weary, and I shall walk and not faint. Woman of God, this is who we are. Waiting is not denial. Waiting is not lack. Waiting is to stay and rest in God because God has said in Him we will have perfect peace if our mind stays on Him. Women of God, we are powerful women.